What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory video. I hope you're doing well. My name is Bits and oh boy have I been busy this past month to two months near enough. We've been building something quite spectacular on the Twitch streams. As you know, last part of this series, we've been working on this project right here, which produces the quartz with the computers and many other things, but also has a crazy train line, which I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of impressed with but you might see a few changes right here that's because now we've integrated the the, the, the power pylon towers things I forgot the names of them <laughs> and then underneath as well which used to be the highway for possible trucks and all this kind of stuff we brought in a new train line so now underneath here has an express route from A to B of my choosing. But you're gonna have to let me know because I'm doing my very first episode within this Satisfactory series that we've done with Facecam. So let me know if you like it. Let me know, leave a like, comment it, whatever. I, I don't normally do it with Facecam, so this is a bit weird and my flow of editing and recording this has changed, so. That's a lot of trains. <laughs> I'm just getting so distracted right now. I love this line, I love this line. Just the amount of trains we can see, just, oh, it looks so good. I'm so proud of it. But back to the topic at hand, the reason I wanted to add the express route underneath, which is where that bottom train is, is because on the top side, we have so many trains that are going left, right, crossing over each other, hence the reason we've got bypasses that's going over. And it's creating, well, it's slowing some trains down at some point. I don't want the express route to slow down. I want it to get from A to B, especially when it goes to where it's going, which is the power plant. Hence why we've been working on this new expansion right here from the main uh, train base or train station. And all this train station here, which are extremely long, we're using one train to 12, uh, well, we're using one locomotive to 12 carriages. And even though that's not optimal, we're kind of optimizing that by increasing the number of trains that we need. Because as you can see, it's quite a long boy. But then that also means we need to increase the output of the bottled water that we're going to be sending to the power plant. Because as you know, I don't want to package the water. Because one, we've done it so many times. I've mentioned this so many times in the videos. But just to clarify to those that are new to the channel, I don't want to expand, uh, just use normal water extractors. I want to kind of bottle it from one central distribution hub and then ship it to where it needs to go, then unpackage it. It's a lot more work, it's a lot more time consuming, but it's a lot more fun. So as you can see, this building is way, 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 way under construction right now. But this is the behind the scenes of all the pipes going in, all the bottled water that's coming down, all the empty canisters that are going back around, going into a loop. I've got the hiccups, I've got a frog in my throat, I apologize. But that then all goes into these two train stations, which are in total is eight trains in total, four trains on either line with one locomotive and 12 carriages. And the reason they have 12 is because six carriages are dedicated to bottled water and six carriages will always come back with the empty canisters from the opposite end from the power plant to bring it back here to send the empty canisters back into the water plant to actually fill back up. And that's what this is right here. This is part or a fraction of the new power plant, which is taking a while to build, as you can expect. And as you can tell, the footprint of this factory is pretty large right now. And all of this is just for two oil lines right now, two 600 oil lines. But what you're gonna take into account though is that this whole section here is just for the trains to come in, unload the bottled water, collect the empty canisters that gets uh, unpackaged, uh, and that's what this footprint is for right here. So we have four oil lines coming in from, well, the Spire Coast. Two of the oil lines go into this building right here, and then the other two here are gonna go to these refineries right here, which will then go onto the blenders and then into the fuel generators. And if you remember, my little pride and joy is this little building right here. We can see the refineries inside the walls here. This took me a while to design. It probably took me about a week to design this. Um, and a lot of you guys who have been popping into the Twitch streams and all this kind of stuff have enjoyed it and are liking it and loving how it works with Lumen and Unreal Engine 8. And just to let you know, all this is, yes, built in vanilla because I'm going to show you how to build it today. And then this is making heavy oil residue and plastic. The heavy oil residue moves through here. Well, it goes underneath the ground on the underflooring, then heads to the blenders where the plastic comes out here, works its way along these lines, goes underneath the walkways here into these refineries, which then turn into plastic, um, which then just make its way along there. Uh, and you can see we've got a little bit of a walkway going 
going over here. I'm kind of building what we kind of do around here. Uh, and this video is more of a little showcase of what we built because it's been a long two months and there's been I've been moving house. I've been doing so much stuff that there's footage everywhere. And I thought it'd be easy just to quickly do a breakdown of everything I've done in that time. And then we're going to continue where we are from now in the next episode. And I'll show you how we built most of this. But the main priority today is for me to show you and catch you up with what you've missed and all this kind of stuff and what I've done. But if we run along here, we can see the fuel generators, which is something I did uh, today. We finished these today on the live stream. I'm recording this as of Friday because I go to Germany tomorrow, so I can't record this tomorrow to release tomorrow. Um, so today's the 18th. I think it's the 18th today. It is 18th today. So we can see that we have all this right here. This is the fuel generators. I have overclocked them uh, because we are going to be using a lot of fuel generators. And as you know, as I stated in episode one of the series, we are spawning in the power shards and we're spawning in the hard drives because I've collected them over and over and over again many times throughout many playthroughs of this. And it makes it weird. But I've also, we found out this on the live stream as well. Look how blurry this is. That's because of the new the, the TSR that's in update eight. So if you disable TSR, that actually stops it from being super blurry like that. But yeah, I've overclocked all of these generators here to um, 200%. Uh, and these are consuming uh, 20, uh, 24 fuel per minute. And then they're outputting 300 megawatts per minute. And that's just from these blenders right here. So in total here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, three of them fill a 600 line because obviously the output uh, 200 fuel per minute. So 200, 400, 600, that's one pipe. Uh, 200, 400, 600, that's another pipe. And then 200, 400. So technically, we're running with uh, 1,600 fuel coming out this way. Um, 600 go into 25 generators here. And then another 600 go into the 25 on the top. And then the 400 comes down here into, I think, 16 point something, 16.2 or 16.3. It's one of them numbers. Uh, and that goes into these fuel generators here. But as you know, I'm only consuming into oil right now that's because on the opposite side we have these refineries here which are ready and waiting for me to put the oil in but that's where i want to kind of officially start today's episode of uh, satisfactory which is i want to kind of get this production up and running i'm going to show you how i built that cool looking room in there which is one of my best and all-time favorite designs i've ever done uh, and we're going to do that in here um so let's crack on with that and yeah remember if you enjoyed the videos to like subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji do it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the walkways here and I want to find the middle ground, which is this one. And then I just want to change these over to uh, just a normal catwalk. And then we're going to make this into a catwalk crossing. I don't think I did it without railings. I can't remember. Let's quickly check, Bitsy. Did I do railings with these? I didn't. It's not. We just did them. Okay. Good to know. So let, let's just put the catwalk crossing all the way along here. And also for those wondering what mods I use, I don't use any mods except, I'd, I shouldn't say any mods, but like um, I only run uh, with one gameplay changing mod, which is the inventory size. Um, that's the only difference. It saves me running them back and forward and all this kind of stuff. I think I mentioned this in other videos. So anyway, once I put the catwalk down, then I need to check the output of the refineries, which as we know, we are using heavy oil residue. Uh, that's going to re require 30 crude oil. So we know that's going to go into 20 refineries. So if I'm not mistaken, we have got 20 lined up here. We have, and if you ever need to do a quick count, just grab your uh, mass dismantle tool. It tells you how many we've got, right? So you can see 20 out of 50. Well, that's 25. That's... 30. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of the day, we've got 20 on either side, which 30 times 20 is 600 crude oil. And then we need to check the heavy oil residue output, which is 40. And if we do 40 times 20, that's going to be 800. And just for those visible learners, uh, 40 times 20 is 800. And obviously one Mark II pipe only holds 600 uh, liquid um, so we need to remove 200 from the output. And if we're not mistaken, 30, uh, 60, 90, 120, 150. Wait, why am I counting in 30? It's 40 bits, you spoon. It's 40. And obviously, if you know quick maths, that should be 5. So 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. So right here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab myself a pipeline crossing. And I'm just going to place that just there. The reason I'm going to do that is just so that gives, my, gives me a more marker so I don't accidentally add an additional crossing. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this down on this line right there. 
aim right there. And before I, we crack on here, and I always do my heavy oil residue as purple. So I'm just going to right click on the swatch, make sure the pipes are selected, which means every time I build a pipe now, it's going to be purple, just like that. Saves you much time, saves you, well, it's so much easier than just going around painting them all and accidentally clicking on other stuff, um, like so. So that's heavy oil residue. And then we're just going to grab the Mark II pipe. I'm going to take this right to the end over here. I don't know if I've done this too close compared to the other side. I'm going to check and then I'm going to make sure I fix my area before continuing this build. So I need to bring these pipeline junctions further along here on the outputs of these and then merge these five together. And then the other 15 I need to put down into here. So we have two pipes there, two pipes there, uh, one with 600 and one with 200 in. And then we just need to do the same on the opposite side. We're just going to grab the top five up here, merge them two together into one pipeline to give me 200 heavy rock residue oil and then the other 15 will get merged into a 600 line so we'll have a 600 a 600 and two 200s to make 1600 heavy oil residue yes correcto so i'm just gonna dig my way underneath here just because i want to find out if i did do it close enough i didn't because i didn't think about uh you spoon bits how could you show people what you built if you don't know what you built yourself okay so i'll put these two together okay <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ugh, it's dark. It's dark. Let me out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I am wrong with what I did here. <laughs> so all I need to do is well, do exactly the same. I just need to push it further out. So I'm just going to grab this to go there. That to go there. That to go there. And that to go there. Remove these two because I, I put all the four residue. So that's going to be a 600. That's going to be 600. That's going to be a 200. That's going to be a 200. Then all I need to do now is go into here. Pipeline junction. Line that up with that. Line that up with that. Three, four, five. And then because it's only a 200, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to put a Mark 1 pipe down. I could put a 600 down. But the reason I'm going to do a Mark 1 pipe because obviously it only holds 300. And um, it gives me a visual indicator that that pipe has less than 300 so i'll know it will have the 200 in. right so now that i've got all them pipes laid down as i, as I described before we've got five going that way and we've got 15 going into the central left line and 15 down there going into central right line but now we need to figure out what we're going to do with the resin and what i did in the other room was i got the foundation and i just raised this up to the same height as the walkway just like so and then all i did was i just brought it over here and snapped it off like that so i just got the same height and then snapped that across there and then all i did was if i'm not mistaken i grabbed a conveyor hole no a mark one lift which come out and went straight into a merger that was here so we use this to measure so i'm just going to place that there just for now and then i'm going to grab a uh merger i'm going to rotate it because obviously the input's going to be coming towards me I'm going to place that just there like that. So I know where it's going to go. So I'm just going to remove that real quick. So it's kind of snapping towards it. So it needs to go like right there. Just like so. I think, I think, I think. And then I'm just going to grab myself a cheeky little Mark 1 lift. And then I'm just going to do that and place it in there. As you can see, this top bit is kind of clipping through it. But there's no motion that's going to stop it from, you know, kind of like crazy clipping. So it's going to look like, like that from underneath. And then all we need to do is just do that all the way across here. They are outputting 20 polymer resin per minute. So we will be fine with like a, a Mark 5 belt. We already know that because 20 times 20 is going to be 400. We'll be fine with a Mark 4 belt because that holds 480, right? So yeah, Bob's your uncle. And then a few minutes later, I've got all this built. Oh, you can see I've got the mergers going all the way down here. Obviously, the air, the output's coming towards me with all the lifts in and all that kind of cool stuff. Now, the only problem now is it looks a little messy. It looks a little crazy and it just looks not as good as the other room. So what we're going to do now is going to put a few little details in, a few little lights in uh, and start creating the walls and the structures and start looking at the ceiling as well. So what I'm going to do is, as we know, I love playing with pillars. Um, and most of the time, what I normally do is I just get a painted beam and I'll just go from here to like the end of a normal <laughs> this way for me. There you go. And then what I'll do is I'll just grab myself a small metal pillar, which is what I used in the other room. And then I just lie that down there like that. And I'm going to duplicate this onto the opposite side so I can do yeah, that. And then just like that, remove these two and then bring you into the like this. And then all we need to do is, do is zoop that. Wait, is that walkway a little... That walkway is a little skinnier than the other side, isn't it? Even I, if I walk down this, I wouldn't fit down. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why do I just meme myself? Why? What did I do in here? I can't remember. 
Wait, they look a little odd. Oh, please tell me that. <laughs> Did I really not put these as... I think I put them too close. What was the distance here? So if that's the edge... It's probably, it's probably like a little one meter gap. What did I do over here? God damn it. Yeah, I need to move the mergers one over. Uh, wait a minute. Am I going to have enough room for that? So let me just do this. Let me just bring the foundation back up. Beep. Let me just do that and then grab you and then place you there. Let me do that. Then remove you and then remove you and then grab the lift. Are my machines too close as well? Oh, I'm not prepared for this video whatsoever. <laughs> okay, so I just figured out what I did wrong. And yes, I have done all the merges and the, the, the lifts are wrong. I'm a spoon. You know this. I'm a bloody spoon. So what I actually did was I, I did raise this up here like, like so. I did remove these, but what I what I did instead is I actually put the conveyor lift floor hole there, brought the lift, snapped it into there, into the merger, removed the floor, and then added the Mark 1 lift underneath to snap to the machine. That's what I did, which then gave me this little gap here, which means I've now got to remove all of these and, yeah, joys, joys. Right, there we go. Now I finally fixed what was well, what, 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 what was wrong. I don't know what just happened there, but I'll keep that blooper in there. Anyway, um, <laughs> keep that blooper in there, bloody idiot. Um, so now that we've got that, let's go back to what we was doing, which was going into our architecture. Got myself a painted beam, and then we went here, right? So we put this down, and we put it into. Did I put it there? Or was it just a little bit further? I can't remember now. It was just a little bit further away, wasn't it? Anyway, let me just extend that there. Extend that there. Remove the duplicate that's just gone inside of that, and that one. And then we're going to get a painted beam. We're just going to place that. There we go. That looks better. Place that one there. Grab myself a pillar and then get the metal one. Attach that to there just like that. Bada bing, bada bosh. We got somewhere a bit GG. And now all we need to do is just basically zoop these all the way along the actual uh, walkway so we don't fall down because one, health and safety, you know, health and safety at 1974. I think I think that's what it is in the UK. I could be, I could be wrong. But slips, trips and falls. <laughs> So we fill all this in, we take this all the way to the end, and then we're going to start working on some signs. Um, and I'm going to show you which ones I do. And once it's all down and dusted, uh, it's very, very, very easy to um, duplicate. So now that we've done that, what I do next is I always get the modern railings. And I just kind of look to the edge of my screen right here, and we can see the, the, the tip of the the, uh, the railing, and we can see the line of where the end of the pillar joins with the other pillar. You can just barely see it just because of the white light, the white line. But you just place that down there, and once you place one, you just go all the way along here like this, and then all you need to do is duplicate that on the other side as well. Wait a minute, I'm just coming to think of it. Is there any youtubers that use face cam with automation games is it just am i the first one let me know of other channels that you guys know who use face cam maybe maybe there's a reason why maybe you guys don't even like this video because the face comes in it i don't know i'm just a very expressive <laughs> I'm very expressive. Right, so the next thing that we're going to look at doing is I've just put down the foundations just because we're going to need to utilize these now. That's because I want to grab the big metal pillars and I want to put these in here just like this. And we're going to clip it. Yes, clip it through the machines. Um, and I'm just going to extend that along a little bit so I can take that one there. And we're just going to put them side by side so them lines are just connected up like that. So there's like a little half diamond little triangle section there. And then we're just going to take it along here. We're going to leave this pipe. We're going to leave this whole central column here. And then we're going to move along and we're just going to, yeah, we're not going to do that, but belts. Um, and then we're going to take that up there as well. Oh, there's an auto save in four minutes. These auto saves, by the way, on this save is getting stupid. It's getting ridiculous. I don't know how long this is going to take. Like, I'm just going to leave it running for now. And you guys can see how long these auto saves are taking now. So I'm not going to speed it up. I'm not going to slow it down. You can still hear me talking. But for those that know content creation, I can still leave the camera. I'm just jabbling, <laughs> just like rambling on. But these auto saves are getting pretty long, even though I am using an uh, uh, an M.2. There we go. It's just complete. Well, I, I do have fast M.2s. Um, I'm using Gen 5 um, and uh, as well. And they are speedy boys for those that know. Uh, and then all we're going to do is we're just going to continue this and we're just going to do it uh, like this. I'm just going to take it all the way down just like that. And you're going to notice we're leaving a little gap there. That's because we're going to do something later. Uh, so what we need to do now is just take them across there, leave them little gaps at the top, like I said, something later. And then we're going to come down and start working on the lighting and start daisy chaining. Yes, daisy chaining. Because a lot of you don't realize you can kind of semi-daisy chain within Satisfactory. You just got 
going to kind of do it a little special way. Right, so as you can see, I have now got all of the outsides done. We can see the pillars are all towering over our little refineries. And I've also used my blue... Uh, to create, uh, well, to paint the refineries and also paint the mergers. Uh, but I'm leaving the orange railings just to keep that bit of contrast between the blue and the orange, because as we know, that's a great color combination. Next thing, what I want to start looking at is I want to start bringing in the big boy signs. And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab ourselves a painted beam. And we're just going to pl place that, like, just there. And the reason we're going to do that is we're, we're going to grab in architecture. Uh, where is it? Uh, is it in architecture? No, it's in organization. I want to grab ourselves a large billboard. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to aim that right at the center of that pillar right there. And we're just going to place just like that. Wait, I don't think I used the large one. <laughs> Ignore me. I think we used the small billboard. I think that, that's better. There we go. And now we aim at that. And then all we need to do now is we need to take that and just line it up all the time with the other ones so we don't have to put a beam down every time. But just for you guys so you're aware, whatever direction you place a beam, this could be uh, like that, and if we place one that way, it always goes in the direction of the opposite side. So you can see that's facing uh, left to right, and that means that will go up to down, right? That one goes up and down, so this one will go to the side. And it also works on angles. So if you grab yourself a painted beam, we just take that on an angle just like that. We can grab one of these and we can place these on an angle. Bada bing, bada bosh, if you wanted to. So that's how you do things with signs. You can even flip them upside down and yeah. And you can play around with some lighting, especially within update 8, because it is about to be released. Um, we did get confirmation today uh, that update 8 will not be going to early access until September, as the earliest. It's not going to be releasing in August, but we are they are upgrading to Unreal Engine 5.2, and they are bringing NVIDIA DLSS as well. So back to the signs. All we need to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm just going to go to Layout. I'm just going to go to the word where it says shenanigans. I'm going to go into here, remove this, bada bing, bada bosh, and then I'm going to go emission strength three it doesn't matter which one you kind of use it's personal preference select your colors and i'm going to go to the black one because obviously that's the the main color so we're just going to load that i'm going to do what wall primary and this this is um one of minor pre-saved like i've saved as a preset so i've got the color that's the hex code if you want it uh, and then click the little save button here and then you can load it whenever once you've done that click select and then you should be good like that and then all we need to do is press, you know, copy and then paste. And then we do that all the way along there and then all the way along this side as well. So I'm going to get back to doing that and then I'll come back once I've done it. Right, so as you can see, it's now what's starting to come together. We can start seeing kind of like how the room's going, to, well, starting to feel. And uh, we're getting pretty close to, for it to be done. But let me show you what we're going to do next is we're going to grab ourselves another sign and we're going to grab the two meter sign. Damn it, I don't have any quartz. Damn. Okay. <laughs> which is quartz, which is quartz, which is quartz, which is quartz, which is quartz. There you are. There you are. 9,600 quartz. Let me grab a quite a few of them because we're going through a few of them. Right. Now that we've got the quartz, um, I need the small signs. I'm just going to place that literally just right there i'm gonna double it up on that side as well and then we're gonna miss uh did i miss one or did i miss two pillars in this room i can't even remember uh, i missed one okay cool so we're just gonna do like you just saw in there spoiler alert one and then we're just gonna place that in the middle and then do that onto there as well and then we're just gonna go inside of here we're gonna use the same layout we're just gonna go to shenanigans and we're gonna remove that and then we're gonna select the color change the black to the whatever preset or color you want select that Bada bing, bada bosh. You, then, then copy that, and then paste, and then paste, and then paste. Then that goes all the way down the middle. But next, I want to also look at the daisy chaining I was talking about. Well, semi-daisy chaining. All you're going to do is you're going to look at where the power attachment is. You're going to grab yourself a road barrier, and we can see it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that as close as I can, like that. Place it in the middle of the foundation. Make sure you do that. And then... You're going to grab yourself a wall, basic wall, hold control, swap the wall out for the barrier, then raise that up just like this. Then take that all the way along your machines like that. And then all you need to do is grab yourself your cable and then build you a wall attachment there. Take that along and then you're just going to do the same and just daisy chain all these all, all the way along here like this. This cleans up your cables and it just looks nice, right? But now I've got to do all of these. So you guys with the power of editing don't get to see all this. So... 
I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think I've ever said jiffy in a video before. <laughs> all right. And then all you need to do then is just remove the walls that are, are there at the daisy chain. And then you can kind of see how it looks pretty decent, right? It looks clean. We've finished, obviously, this walkway. But as you can tell down the end now, we've actually added a bit of a wall because this is where our entrance is going to be. And as you know, I've shot it in many, many videos. Is we're going to grab ourselves a road barrier. We're going to place this here. I'm going to move it to the left by one. And then we're going to put one down there and move it to the right by one as well. Grab ourselves a door, uh, which is in walls. Automated gates. Aim at the right one. Flip it so it's in the right way so the light's on the left-hand side and replace. And then we're going to do the same with that one and replace. So then you've got that kind of door, which means we can walk through there. It looks nice and clean. And then all we need to do now is grab ourselves a window. Which windows do we actually use for the opposite room? It was the hived ones. So then all I should really do is if I just go into here, grab myself a road barrier, place that there. Hence the reason why I say road barriers or one of the road barriers, um, pillars, beams are the one of the most fundamental things I always, always, always unlock first, very early game. So it allows you to do so much decoration stuff like uh, it's just so much easier. Uh, and then we're going to get, get ourselves our hex frame windows. Hold control again, replace it, and then just build that up just like that. And then remove the window that's going to be in the door, and then we've got that. And then all I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to grab myself uh, a beam. I'm going to put the beam to there like that, and then grab that and put you across there. I don't know if that's too low. I think that might be too low. Let's take it up a little bit. It's encroaching a little bit. Let's take that up by one. So let's put you to there. Remove that one. Put the metal, metal pillar to there to there. That, that's a lot clean now. And then we're going to grab ourselves a beam and place that all the way down there. And then we're going to paint that black like that, which I think is what we did over here. Oh, I know. I used a metal one. I didn't use a painted beam. So let's just grab that and replace that with a metal one. But I've got an autosave coming. Right, so with that autosave out of the way, I can then just place that... What the hell? There, like that. Okay, so now we've got that, and then it just kind of looks the same. It's obviously, the front of these buildings aren't done yet, um, and we need to kind of integrate this into the highway here, which I'm kind of looking forward to doing, so, yeah. And then the last piece of the puzzle we're gonna actually going to do is going to grab ourselves a painted beam, place that there, and then snap it to the opposite side, just like that. Grab ourselves the small billboard once again, and just clip that just through there, and then do the same functions, get rid of the shenanigans. I'm just going to go over here just for time's sake. Uh, and then copy that one and then just paste that onto the like that which gives us the orange lights like i said the blue and oranges and then we just take that all the way across there because then when i add the ceiling so when we just zoop that all the way across there and that all the way across there and then grab ourselves the um was it the glass frame foundation it was so we just turn that rotate it that way zoop that along there we can kind of see how this room has now come together uh, we just need to get these lights all the way across here and Bob's her uncle. And once it's done, it'll look exactly like this. And all you need to do is just duplicate it on the other side. Make sure you get your machines up and running with what needs to be running. And there we have it. So check out my other content right here, which is one of these videos or that video. And make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video because this channel has now gone daily. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video for a variety game, maybe another satisfactory game or another automation game. See you then. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in the next video.